All right. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. We are here. The Twitch stream is here. YouTube. I tell you guys this every time. Come to the streams, please. I would truly appreciate if you guys came to the streams. We have fun here. We're going to be watching Penguin Rampa today. We're going to start with the prologue. It is Club Penguin, the Danganronpa version. It sounds goofy. It probably is, but I bet you it's pretty bad. <laughs> it is probably pretty bad. And I'm excited for that. There's also the fan game hub on Discord Blaze. Oh yeah, they, they, um, I've heard of that. Is this one complete or do we have cliffhangers in here? This one actually is pretty long. It's up to chapter four daily life. So yeah, I mean, I guess we're cliffhangered at chapter four, but we actually got some content to watch this time around. Some nice content. So let's see what it does. Let's see how it is. I'm excited. Yo, I feel like this is going to be boss, bro. Agent. My name is, uh, well, I can't tell you that. Okay. Most people just call me the agent and I'm among the top members of the penguin secret agency and the elite penguin. What? Force? Okay. Ever since I was young, I've always felt determined to keep the penguins of this island safe. For the most part, nothing really goes wrong here on Club Penguin Island. But one day, an evil polar bear named Herbert showed up and is constantly trying to turn Club Penguin into his own tropical paradise. What? <laughs> I'm currently on a mission to foil his latest scheme. And it's got to wait, what? And it's got to be his weirdest one yet. This is awesome. He planted an entire corn maze just beyond the mine shack. I mean, who even has the time for that? The text is kind of quick. Anyways, he's hiding somewhere in the corn maze and is planning to expose the PSA to the public. Even if he succeeds, we'll still have the EPF as backup. But let's hope. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, wait, hold on. Damn, planning to expose the PSA to the public. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. I might have to slow it down a little bit. I have a feeling I'm getting close to him. Let's hope everything goes as planned. Not to spare time fast, but you know, it, it, it's quick. That's Herbert? <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 we're going to go ahead and slow this down a little bit, please. And then he gave me his phone. He just gave it to me. Stop right there, Herbert. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. If it isn't the penguin of the hour, you're just in time for me to expose your little secret to the rest of the island. We'll see about that. <laughs> what is happening? Without hesitation, I unplugged the computer Herbert was sitting at. Yanked. Oh, dear. Looks like you've unplugged my little complete the computer takeover. What? You foiled my plan yet again. Wait, it was that easy? Give it up, Herbert. There's no escape from this. Oh, Contrier, Agent. It's you who's been ensnared. The PSA's technology was disabled when that leader of yours hacked into my computer. Hey, this music's kind of good, though. So by unplugging it, you've also fixed all PSA gizmos. They're working again. And that's good for you. How exactly? Ah, <sighs> you penguins truly are daft creatures, aren't you? All PSA technology includes the teleporter on the spy phone I stole. So say hello to the pagan with the lab coat and silly glasses and give him this gift from me. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I'm kind of scared. Is this one just gets real? Hey, are you awake? Please wake up. Oh. Huh? Who's there? It's Pogito. It's the penguin version. Agent, it's me, Rookie. Jeez, you've been wait you've been out for a while. But that's loud. I look around, finally conscious. I'm at the dock? So I got a game and I got a random boy. It's a Game Boy. Stop. Rookie, what's going on? What happened with Herbert? Oh, man. I, like, totally have no clue. I was in the PSA HQ with Gary when all of a sudden I woke up way out in the forest. So why are we at the docks then? 
people you see. I was on my way back to HQ, right? But on my way there, I saw you conked out on the ground. That's weird. Did you notice anything else? Um, well, I've seen like zero other penguins around besides you and me. I like how this is starting out. No one else? The club penguin is always busy, right? Super weird, but man, am I glad to see you. I was honestly getting kind of scared, you know? But you're like the best agent in the EPF, so I feel super safe with you. Um, thanks, rookie. Anyways, why don't we go back to HQ? Oh, yeah. I'm so happy to see you awake. I almost forgot. Rookie and I headed over to the ski village. Rookie. Huh? Well, this doesn't seem right. The sports shop is like completely locked up. What? It's locked? Yeah, dude. It won't budge at all. I doubt even Jetpack Guy could bust this door open. So wait, we got Agent, we got Rookie, and we got Jetpack Guy? All right. That doesn't make any sense. I know the PSA HQ is top secret, but we've never had to shut down the sports shop before. Uh, dude. The ski lodge is locked too. What? Did the April Fool's Day party come early? What's going on? Man, I hope not. I'm supposed to be in charge of planning that. I haven't started a thing. Oh, thank goodness. I think that's the last of us. Rookie and I turned around to see someone approaching us. I've been looking all over for you too. Antarctic? Oh, she looking real green. Yo, Antarctic, do you have any idea what's going on? All I know is that apparently there are only 14 penguins on the island right now, and you both are the last two. <laughs> mean and green. You know what I mean, Crosspaw? 14, how do you know for sure? How do you know that? Well, I don't know for sure, but based on the lack of penguins on the island and a list of names I found, that's unfortunately what I have to assume. A list of names? Who else was on the list? Everyone else is waiting at the coffee shop. I'll explain more there, so please hurry over. Without further delay, Rookie and I followed Antarctic to the coffee shop. Oh my god, Ant... I just put two and two together. I, I literally just put two and two together. Antarctic? Like, Antarctica? You know, like... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. And when we opened the door, yeah, yeah I, I got it, yeah. Many other penguins were there to greet us. There you are, rookie. You had me worried sick, you meathead. Hey, hold up. Ah, uh, agent, it's good to see you're all right. Hey, G, you're kind of blowing my cover here. Gary, that should be the least of your worries right now, agent. Besides, look around. Every penguin here is, I mean, I played club penguin like years ago. Every penguin here is one we can trust. Hey, those two are the last ones, right, Antarctic? Are we ready now? Cadence. Is she talking about the list you mentioned? And Arctic nodded and handed me a piece of paper written on it. Yo, it just got serious. 14 of you, Antarctic, Gary, Rockhopper, Cadence, Sensei, Frankie, Rookie, Dot, Jetpack Guy, Paige, Rory, Shadow Guy, Gamma Gal, and the Agent. Oh my God, that's like a mouthful. Once you've all gathered, come to the snow fort. Dang, this, this went from zero to 100 real quick. Who wrote this? I'm not sure. I came here to make myself a cup of comfort coffee and I found it on the desk. Then she went all around the island looking for the others and brought us back here to get us a cup of joe while we waited for everyone else to get here. All right, Frankie. Ah, nothing be better than a cup of old Arctic's coffee. You two lads out to get yourselves a cup before we head out. Rock hopper. I'm all right, thanks. Speak for yourself. Rookie wants a cup of coffee with extra sugar. All right, but I'll have to be for it to go. I really think we should head to the snow forts as soon as possible. Well, I'm heading to the forts now. Anyone else who wants to come is free to join me. Dude, like the kid in me is screaming right now. This is amazing. I, like this is just Club Penguin nostalgia 2.0. Now, now Paige, we should head all over together. In the meantime, why don't you all introduce yourselves? Um, I'm the ultimate secret agent. Wish I didn't have to reveal that about myself, but it looks like I don't have a choice. Still, I would like to keep my actual identity a secret, so I would appreciate it if you just called me agent. Really, agent? It's okay to reveal your identity in a situation this dire. I'll pass. Let's at least find out exactly what situation we're in first. They're right, Gary. Even if the situation turns out to be serious, they're right to, to keeping a secret identity ought to be respected. Finally, someone gets it. 
nostalgia, like nest of eggs. This is the first time I've ever seen these penguins, so now I'll forever associate them as a Fangan characters. <laughs> right? Yo, everyone, I'm Rookie, the ultimate goofball. You might know me as the host of Club Penguin's biannual April Fool's Day party. How can April Fool's Day be biannual? Oops, it's only biannual on a leap year, right? I think you should just be called the ultimate idiot. That's rude. Hello, everyone. I'm Antarctic, the ultimate reporter. I'm the chief executive of the Club Penguin Times. I help plan most, <laughs> most of the parties here on the island. Hey, Antarctic, do you know why my jokes never get submitted into the newspaper? Sorry, rookie, I'm not in charge of the joke section, but I'd be happy to hear one of your jokes now. Okay, why did the penguin cross the road? Hmm? I don't know. Me neither. That's why I'm asking. This is wild. Oh dear. Like, he, he really just said that. Hey everybody, I'm Gary, the ultimate gadget guy. Gadget guy? I made loads of adventures all over the island. The clock tower, jetpacks, the Pizzatron 3000, you name it. G, I can never thank you enough for inventing jetpacks. Bro, G, why, why do you keep calling him G? <laughs> Jetpack guy, why? Don't you sleep with that thing on? What? I do not. Technically speaking, my jetpacks are actually safe to sleep with. Hmm. Really? Jetpack guy is rad. You know what? I If he would stop saying G, I'd be cool with him. The slide to the other side. Ahoy me hearties. The name be Rock Hopper, the ultimate pirate, of course. I sail the seas year round with my best buddy Yar, and every now and then we begin our discoveries back to Club Penguin. But then come to think of it, I don't remember coming back to Club Penguin recently. I just woke up here like the rest of ye, and I haven't seen Yar or me ship by there. Oh no, I hope Yar's okay. Ah, I wouldn't be too worried about the little guy. He's a tough little landlubber, that's for sure. <laughs> Yar, I love that. I know, right? That's funny, Yar. Hold up. Hey, hold up, wait. Okay. Okay, hold on. Why, hey, why does B so hard? Hey, yo, everyone. The ultimate DJ Cadence in the house. That's why the, the beat's hard. That's right. The queen of the nightclub is here. Here and well. The coffee shop. Turns out the nightclub is locked for some reason. Kind of a bummer, right? It's not like I need a dance floor to break it down. Let's bust a move. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, party girl. <laughs> what is happening? The two of them started dancing wildly in the crap coffee shop and accidentally knocked over Gary's coffee. That, hey, that beat was kind of lit. No, that was a hit. Hey, hey, I didn't know Club Penguin has some bangers. Greetings, young grasshoppers. I am Sensei, the ultimate Karjitsu master. Karjitsu? Don't you have anything else to say? Sensei is a man of few words, but face him in Karjitsu, and his skills will do most of the talking. Sensei. Oh man, I can't wait to challenge Sensei one day. I've almost got my white belt. Rookie, you know that's the lowest belt, right? <laughs> now, now, do not discourage him, Rookie, was it? I would be happy to train you in the art of card jitsu someday. But first, I think we should focus on our current situation. The dojo was locked anyway. Remember, don't... Hold up. Hold on. It. Hey, why does B got a heart? No way! What's this music? Bro, that, that, oh my God. Why the beat's hard? Break it here and I'm the ultimate lead singer. You guys probably know me from the Penguin Band, although I haven't seen any of the other members here. Stompin' Bob, G. Billy, PDK. Like, I hope they're all okay. I don't get it. How can we possibly be the only penguins on the island? I don't get it either, man. But I've got faith in my crew. I can guarantee that wherever they are, they're working on some sick beats for our next gig. I... Bro, if that's one of the beats they working on, Count me in. 
I'm Jetpack Guy, the ultimate pilot. But you can just call me Guy if you want. Can I call you G? No one's going to call you Guy, dude. You know we're all just going to call you JPG? <laughs> Stop calling me that. That's an image... That's an image file format. He's a JPEG. Which is what makes it a pretty sweet nickname, don't you think? What? No. Shut up. You don't want to be a JPEG? Sup, everyone. I'm Dot, the ultimate disguise gal. Wait, are you in disguise right now? Good question. No, rookie. This is my regular outfit. But if I wanted to, I could totally... What the heck? My disguises are gone. I always have them with me. Something weird really is going on here. She doesn't have her disguises. That's her normal clothes. G'day everybody, name's Paige and I'm the ultimate puffle handler. What is that? Y'all could just call me PH though. Pornhub? Ah, did you know that Pornhub is also a, oh wait. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Did you know that PH is also a measurement used in chemistry? It stands for the potential of hydrogen and Mate, you tell me this everything, every time I mention my nickname. Anyways, we've already established that we're the only penguins here, but... I reckon I haven't seen any puffles around either. I'm dying to pet their fuzzy little faces right now. It's really calming to me when I'm stressed out. <laughs> Blaze exposed? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Wait, can we all just say sorry? Can we all just say sorry? Is Kuma gonna be the polar bear guy? I wouldn't doubt it. It, it would make sense. Hey guys, I'm Rory and I'm the ultimate handyman. You've probably seen me around the island fixing stuff. Usually Gary's inventions. Huh! My inventions are top notch. I've only asked for your help a couple of times. Did you guys know that the number in the names of Gary's inventions usually stands for the amount of failed attempts he's had? Let's just say the first 2,999 Pichatrons weren't pretty. That's a lot of pizza. Only kidding, buddy. It might take you some time to get it right, but no one else can build inventions quite like you. Is Paige a boy or girl again? I'm not sure. What's up, everybody? I'm Sam. I'm the ultimate actor, but you may know me for my most prominent role, Shadow Guy. So you're not the real Shadow Guy? Shadow Guy's just a character, man, but I love that play so much, so I wear my costume for it most of the time. So you dress up in character all the time. That's not weird. It's also pretty much the only way I can get people to recognize me. Uh, no shame, Sam. I totally get that, too. I'm Amy, by the way, and I'm the ultimate actress. Gigi. Like Sam, you probably recognize me from my role as Gamma Gal. Wait, aren't you also Ruby and Ruby and the Ruby? Ruby and the Ruby. Eh, well, they don't call me the ultimate actress for nothing. Wow, you sure are amazing, Gamma Gal. Rookie, she said her name was Amy. She's the mastermind. That's cool. You guys can call me Gamma Gal if you like. Same goes for me. Wouldn't it get confusing if we called both of you guys Gamma Gal? No, I meant you could call me Shadow Guy if you want. Oh, whoops. It's fine, man. Anywho, are we about to ready to head to the snow forts? Yep, I've just finished making Rookie's coffee. I'm ready whenever you all are. This is This is high quality right here. I'm the one percent who never touched Club Penguin, really? After Unarctic gave Rookie his coffee, we all made our way towards the snow fort. Hopefully we could finally find out what's going on. Watch Shadow Guy die. He's gonna be the first death. Well, here we are. No one else is here, though. Not long after Rory spoke, something emerged from behind one of the forts. It's him. <laughs> Yo, he looks dumb. <laughs> so you finally made it. He looks so dope. But Herbert, what's going on here? Answer me. Oh, I'm not Herbert anymore. You all refer to me as Monobert now. What? Monobert? Uh, no, we won't. Oh, but you will. It's part of the rules after all rules well now this is just laughable as if you have any authority over us herbert i said you were to call me monobert now perhaps i ought to give you a little warning 
Herbert or Monobert pulled out a small device with a button on it and eagerly pressed it. Okay. After he pressed the button, the digital clock on the snow fort's clock tower started glowing red. 10 p.m. And then, what is happening? Yo, my clock tower. I spent ages building that. And I spent eons fixing it. <laughs> I hope you all realize what you're up against now. Hey, not cool, Herbert. Why'd you blow up the clock tower like that? I must have misheard you. What did you call me again? Oh, no, don't be... Uh, I meant Monobert. Sir, yes, sir. That's what I thought. Consider that your final warning. Now allow me to explain the situation you all find yourselves in. <laughs> At this point, I'm sure you've all noticed that there are no other penguins on the island. I can't take this seriously with the dog and Rampa music, dog. Like, what? <laughs> it's hilarious. And that's because they're all gone. Gone? You mean they're... Oh, no, no, no. They're not dead. I like this. I simply just transported them all to a new world. Hey, quit being vague. Where the hell is everybody? This is like perfectly made, dude. Like what? You pay good in your minuscule attention spans. As I said, I've moved everyone else to a new world. A whole new world. You know that Aladdin song? A world far better suited for you stupid birds than this old. No. You know what I'm talking about, right, agent? Huh? Me? The last thing I remember is being teleported by you along with some strange machine. Exactly. That machine combined with the teleporter on the PSA's spy phone was supposed to transport every single penguin to the new world. But for some reason, the 14 of you were unaffected, so where's... The How come there's not 16? But Mr. Monobert, why would you want to send every penguin off of the island so no one could get in the way of turning Club Penguin into my own tropical paradise? There are tons of other snowy islands out around here, so I just sent them to one of those. They're fine. So nobody really dies in this? But why are we here then? I don't get why it didn't work on us. I really want to see what it looks like when they die. Neither do I, but I would really like to start renovating this place, so I'm going to have to get rid of you all. Are you going to kill us? But there's no need for that, right? You could just teleport us all away, can't you? Like I said, for whatever reason, my teleport doesn't work on any of you. Thankfully, your old pal Monobert was able to make an override. However, it's single use. So what are you you're saying is you'd only be able to teleport one of us to this new world? Fortunately, you have to be in the presence of the world's greatest gadget guy. I'm certain I can take a gander at that teleport of yours and figure out a way to... That won't be necessary. I've already arranged a fun little game to determine which one of you suckers gets to go to the new world with everyone else. A killing game? Oh, a killing game, that is. Everyone's eyes went wide. A killing game in a club penguin world. <laughs> this is wild. Now hold on just a wee moment, you scallywag. What on earth do you be meaning by a killing game? Well, really, it's quite simple. If you kill someone and get away with it, you can leave. Kill someone? Like, for real? You twisted bear. What the heck? You're joking, right, man? I am not. The 15 of you are trapped on this island and can only leave if you kill someone else. Doesn't that sound fun? Wait, 15? I thought there were only 14 of us. Oh, where are my manners? I forgot to tell you about the last participant. Who is it? No need to be shy. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, klutzy. Ultimate henchman. <laughs> but Clutzy's your side quick, right? Yes, but he's also participated in the killing game. He can kill one of you or what? <laughs> wait, whoa, wait, what? He can kill one of you or what if you could kill him? Doesn't matter to me. Oh no, you can't kill Clutzy? Man, throwing your own ally under the bus like that? Disgusting. Well, if Clutzy's fair game to be killed, then I say you should be too. Damn. 
unless you want to end up like that clock tower. I would advise you refrain from that. We having crab for dinner, Dobby. Oh, it's not like any of you could kill me anyway. Oh, and speaking of the clock tower. Monobert somehow disappeared down into the snow. Wait, why? How? What? Huh? A new clock tower emerged from the rubble and Monobert appeared on the screen. Is that the Mono TV? Well, what do y'all think? It looks good, no? Craftsmanship. It's exquisite. As if. I think it looks ugly. Well, get used to it. I'll be appearing on the screen every day to make announcements to you all. There's speakers all over the island, too. So no matter where you are, you'll be able to hear me. Let's see his best boy. Agreed. What kind of announcements do you even need to make? Oh, you know, the usual stuff. No, we don't know. I'll alert you all when it's morning and nighttime. I'll let you know when I want you all to gather here. And I'll definitely let you know when a body has been discovered. You're really serious about us killing each other, eh? I'm surprised, Gary. You really are a simpleton for asking a stupid question like that. I thought you were smarter than that. <laughs> Don't do that to Gary! But yes, in case you were so dense as to not understand by now, I'm quite serious about this little killing game. Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but the penguins of this island have lived lives of nothing but peace and happiness. None of us could kill someone, even if we wanted to. It's just not in our nature. Can we get Team Klutzy in the chat, please? Hashtag Team Klutzy. See about that. For now, I think you all ought to head to your igloos. Igloos. They have igloo homes. Oh, yeah. I noticed when I was walking around earlier that there's, like, not a lot of igloos at all anymore. Yeah, me too. Usually there's thousands of igloos for thousands of penguins. There were hardly any where I walked by. <laughs> Look at those Team Klutzies! That's because the only igloos that remain are the ones for the penguins that need them. Wait, what? That's penguinist. Those being the 14 of you, of course. Oh, okay. Hold up, mate. Where's that crab partner of yours gonna sleep? Surely he doesn't have an igloo. And he better not be rooming with one of us. Klutzy will be staying with me, of course. He's my henchman, after all. Click, click. Well, there's no need for such hostility, Klutzy. Go to your room. <laughs> one of us snapped his fingers and all of a sudden, Klutzy was zapped away from us. Seafood for dinner? Don't do this, Dobby! Oh, there we go. Now go get some shut-eye, Klutzy. You got a big killing game ahead of you. Hey, how'd you even do that? Coming Monobird is giving me unimaginable power. There's nothing any of you could do to stop me. He's like Mikado from SDRE2 now. I'll give in to the despair of this island. They kill out of your own frustrations, but for now you should probably get some sleep. Nighty night. The new clock tower's monitor shut off and we all just looked around at each other in silence. Um, so I guess I'll break the silence. You guys don't think any of us are actually going to do it, right? The music here. Of course not. The fun-loving penguins I know would never do something like that. The best thing we can do is believe in each other. We'll work together and find a way off of this island. I've heard that so many times and it's, it's, it gets sad every time I see it. Then we'll find this new world and reunite with all of our fellow penguins. That's easier said than done. Which is exactly why we need to rest up. So we can give it our all to get out of here tomorrow. That's the spirit Antarctica. Arctic, this penguin is pooped. As I am, rookie. I'm sure everyone else is too. So good night, everyone. We all headed to our respective igloos and went to bed for the night. Is that a DDR pad? I opened the door to my familiar igloo and sat down on my couch. My igloo isn't anything fancy. Just some chairs, a fireplace, a dance floor. You know, typical igloo stuff. Paige was right. All puffles seem to have vanished from the island too. Mine certainly aren't here. I hope they're all right. KPS? My igloo is usually comforting to me. I mean, it is my home after all. But now, all I feel is dread and worry. Would a murder really happen? I couldn't stop thinking about it. As a PSA and EPF agent, I've been through many tough situations before, but this is the new Island Club Penguin Island because, honey, I got news for you. That too has shut down, right? This is the first time in my life that I was truly terrified. It has an intro? Yeah! 
this is crazy. Whoa, it's actually animated. What the fuck? What the heck? <laughs> Gotta do. What in the world? I would have. I would have never expected this. Yeah, I remember this. Wow, the nostalgia just hit me. Antarctic. How long did this take them to make, though? Right. Well, I mean, they took clips from the game. <laughs> this is kind of dope. Long months, really? I just joined and this is what I see. This is the best thing ever. It's Penguin Rampa. I'm scared. I am honestly curious to see how the hell a body discovery is going to look like. And seeing a penguin with like pink blood in the. <laughs> a brutally murdered penguin? PETA would hate this game. We're gonna go to chapter one daily life. Oh shit, this is the intro, intro. I'm so lost for words. So, everybody in chat, how do y'all feel about this? This was originally an IG post format, I think, really? Let's see, needs to survive. I don't give a. Best intro sequence once. I know, right? Antarctic is being the leader, and I think we know what happens to leaders in Danganronpa. I know. This is surprisingly impressive. Who do you think will die first? My money's on Rory. Rory's too important. At the end of every daily life is the BDA. Oh, shoot. We're about to see, baby. I love it. CP was my childhood and I love penguins, so yeah. This is much better than I expected. I know, right? I wasn't expecting it to be this high quality. I was like, hey, it's a little hard to read the text, but that's okay. It's not the spare time hard, but it, it's quick. It's definitely quick. This is done much better than I expected. I've never seen a penguin killed with real blood, so I know, right? I could see Dot dying first. I don't think I've ever seen a penguin die. <laughs> I was there ever since the first IG post too. So I've kind of been drawn to it since the start. Wow, that's cool, Tony Tiger. That's actually really dope. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Are these speakers loud enough? Should I crank them up even more? But seriously, please report to the snow force immediately. Failure to present will result in punishment. I know he said he put speakers all over the island, but seriously, in our igloos too? Well, as much as I don't want to be up this early, I guess I don't really have a choice. I made my way over to the snow force with everyone else. Good morning. Did everybody sleep okay? I was just fine, so I was woken up by that awful announcement. I probably only managed to get a couple hours of sleep or so. Really? I slept like a baby. We all glared at Rookie enviously, myself included. But soon enough, he arrived to greet us. Ah, I see you're all up bright and early. Was I in your nightmares last night? I sure hope so. Get to the point, Furball. Why'd you call us here? Well, no, sorry, guys. Get Miguel kind of bad, though, not going to lie. I mean, you know, you know. 
Well, the first motive, of course. I mean, they penguins, right? Motive, you mean? Yup, this motive is designed to entice you to kill someone. Hold up. I thought getting to go to the new world was our motive to do that. In the grand scheme of things, yes. But you penguins are so lovey-dovey and happy all the time that you need a little push. We already getting a motive? This is quick. We're not going to listen to you, Monobert. Nobody's going to kill anyone. Well, isn't that just too bad? Listening to me is required. No, I need some character development. This needs to be like Shattered Hope. Give me some character development. Well, isn't that just too bad? Unless you want to die, of course. Anyways, the first motive is information. Information? About what? Information about a traitor among you. Among us? You see what I... <laughs> Uh, Y'all see? I'm, I'm killing it today. I'm, I'm, hey, hold up. The puns. The puns. I, I, I think I might got the puns today. Information about a traitor among you. A traitor? What in the seven seas do you be meaning by that? One of you is secretly working with me, which makes you a traitor to around everyone else. You know who you are. Well, duh. We already know who the traitor is. It's Klutzy. so great I'm not talking about klutzy i'm talking about someone else someone else who would possibly want to work with you well to be fair they didn't have much of a choice sorry about that by the way wait no i'm not <laughs> but seriously i'm not going to tell you who the traitor is all i say is that they're a participant of the killing game and they aren't klutzy <laughs> so in other words the traitor is a penguin we all looked around at each other nervously well, do whatever you want with that information. Toodles. Monobert left us alone. Cheer up, everyone. Why should we trust the thing that nasty Monobert says? He's probably just lying. I don't know, Antarctic. I don't want to believe it, but the possibility certainly exists. Yo, whoever the traitor is, reveal yourself. You could save yourself from a whole lot of trouble, you know. Right? I'm sure whoever was forced to work with that deathly polar bear is just going to fess up to us. Quit arguing. I'm sure that's exactly what Monobert wants us to do. Now, why don't we split into groups and investigate the island a bit? Hold up. Hey, okay! This music is freaking dope, dude. There's 15 of us, so we can do five groups of three. 15? Why should we team up with that crab? He's working with Monobert. Well, so is the traitor, and they could be any one of us. Come on, Sam. Ignore the traitor mumbo jumbo for now. And Paige. Plus, he can't even talk. We should at least let him tag along. Ugh, fine. But he's not going to be in my group. Wait. All right. I have an actual, like, huge question that I don't... Don't answer it. Don't answer it. How would Klutzy ever contribute to a class trial? <laughs> Is everybody just going to be in, like, heated debate? And then next thing you know it? Klutzy's just gonna be like, click, click. <laughs> and like, like nobody knew, but, but Klutzy knew who killed the whole entire time, but you didn't know because no one can understand his clicks. <laughs> Angry clicking. <laughs> Klutzy's gonna be vital to the freaking uh, trials, but nobody's gonna be able to understand him. He will contribute. That's my baby boy. I was gonna ask if you wanted to work with me in JPEG anyways. Ah, oh, sweet, let's roll. Man, I wanted to work with the other agents. Uh, fellow agent here. Oh, agent, how could I forget? Of course I'll be in your group. Wow. I wasn't exactly looking to work with Rookie, but I guess I don't really mind. Everyone else splits into their groups and went off to investigate. Hmm, looks like it's just me, you, and Klutzy. Click, click, he's happy! I know he's probably our enemy, but Klutzy looks strangely happy to be working with us, and that's good! All right, where do you think we should look first? The ski hill. It's the tallest point on the island, after all. I remember that. Actually, Rookie, the tallest point on the island is the tallest mountain, hence the name. So there's no way we could climb all the way up there today, so the ski hill wouldn't be a bad place to look. 
Rookie, Klutzy, and I went up to the ski hill to see if we could find anything. Hey, Agent. Remember that time I got stuck in the wilderness? And then you had to snowboard down the hill to come rescue me? Ah, memories. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even thinking about the wilderness. It might be dangerous, but maybe we should check it out at some point. All right, let's do it now. Wait, Rookie. No, I, I didn't mean now. <laughs> It was too late. Rookie was about to slide down the back of the ski hill into the wilderness when all of a sudden. What? What the heck? There's a force field there. Looks like it. But I guess it saved me from having to be rescued by you again. <laughs> what? Still, it kind of hurt my beak when I bonked right off of it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just amazed by this weird force field thing. I can't believe it either. It's super weird. Um, Klutzy, I know you can't really talk to us, but do you have any idea why this is here? He doesn't know. Click, click. It's hard to tell, but he looks like he's just as confused as we are. Hey, Klutzy, I've got an idea. Why don't you try writing down what you want to say? Rookie handed Klutzy a pencil and a small piece of paper. Which are both immediately chopped in half when Klutzy tried to grab them with his claws. Well, I guess that was a bust. Don't worry about it, Rookie. This was a big discovery. I'm glad you suggested we come here. Let's go find the others. We should tell them about this. We took the ski lift down the hill and saw Shadow Guy, Shadow uh, Gamma Gal, and Sensei in the ski village. Hey guys, we found out the pizza parlor was unlocked, so we're all going to meet up there to share our findings. We're going to get pizza! Kawabunga, dudes! Now we're talking. I could really go for some pizza right now. So if you see anyone else on your way there, please let them know. Once we got to the pizza parlor, everyone was already inside, except for the three we just ran into. That's pizza parlor music. Welcome, you three. Gary's in the kitchen, making us all some pizza. Thank goodness, I'm starving. It's as if everyone is here. Good, I knew it was a good idea to come here. It was my idea. Hey, everybody. The pizza's ready. Ooh, I want some pizza. Hold on. Damn. Everybody was smiling and laughing as we had our pizza. Ah, this is lovely. A good reporter never leaves without her camera. Everyone say cheese pizza. Oh, no. This is too happy. Why does this remind me of SDRA2? Or not SDRA2. Uh, uh, Super Rampa 2. So now that we've all gotten something to eat, who would like to share what they discovered first? Rookie, Klutzy, and I found something pretty weird at the top of the ski hill. You guys know the back of the hill leads to the wilderness, right? Pizza party. Hey, don't you love pizza parties? Well, Rookie almost went down there. There was a huge force field blocking him. Ahoy! We found some of those force fields, too. That's right. Rockhopper insisted we investigate the water to see if we could find any trace of the ship. But we couldn't even touch the water at all. There's a barrier of some kind surrounding the entire island. We can't even get to the iceberg. I had to guess. Monobert probably put those barriers up to keep us from escaping the island. But if that's the case, why can't we go to the wilderness? Maybe he's hiding something there. Hey, good thinking, Agent. That's gotta be it. Man, so you guys found all those weird forest fields and stuff. That's totally he blows our discovery out of the water. Nonsense, Cadence. Any information we can find is important. What did your group find? Well, Cadence and I wanted to go to the nightclub, but it was locked, just like before. So we tried to get inside from the boiler room, but we couldn't get into the mine either. Doesn't make sense. The mine shack doesn't even have a door. Well, it does now. It's made of solid metal. There's no way we can get in there. Uh oh. Yeah, the picture of. Of course, the picture is going to be important. You guys know it is. That's why I was looking at it so heavily. Going to the mine wasn't a total bust, though. Luckily, I had my keys to the tool shed, and we were able to get to. We were able, we were able to get in there. It looked like everything was pretty much the same, but my jackhammer, my trusty jackhammer, was gone. Well, if Monobert doesn't want us going underground, it makes sense that he'd confiscate your jackhammer. We investigated the plaza. That's where we found the pizza parlor unlocked and decided to gather everyone here. But before that, we also checked on the pet shop and the stage, both of which were unfortunately locked. We should also note that the manhole that leads to the underground pool appeared to be sealed shut. Man, it sounds like Monobert really wants to restrict where we can go. It sure does, Dot. What did your group find? Good question. We did find... What did we find, JPEG? 
I don't know what your problem is. Using a jetpack when you're seemingly stranded is a completely logical solution. Is it really? I'm not arguing that, but don't you think you ought to try something else when your jetpack is, you know, out of fuel? Look, it was at least worth trying to find some fuel. Hi, Flip. Flip Red. What's up? Would you stop? Would you two stop bickering? Ah, so JPEG's jetpack was out of fuel, right? So we went to the lighthouse to try to get some more. But it was locked. Okay, so the lighthouse is locked too. Then JPEG started going off about how you can apparently whip up jetpack fuel easy by combining hot sauce and cream soda. It's true, I've done it in real life. Cream soda is usually at the lighthouse, but that had already proved to be a bust, so we came here to, like, to at least get some hot sauce. Ah, so that's where you, what you were doing here. Yep, -er. And you lot were already here and told us that you were going to round up everyone else, so we just stayed. In other words, we didn't really find much of anything. Well, now, that's not true. He found out the lighthouse was locked. whoop de doo Oh, Dot, really? We could use all the information we can get. I'm so proud of you all. Antarctic's too nice. I think you guys are right. I think she is going to die. We spent the rest of the day hanging out at the parlor. Attention, trader and non-traders. I just want to let you all know that it is now nighttime. After Monobert's announcement, we all went back to our igloos for the night. Is this where it happens? Before I went home, I decided to take a walk around the island to double check all of the places that were locked. Of all the buildings on Club Penguin, only the pizza parlor, the coffee shop, and the gift shop were unlocked. But most importantly, the sports shop was locked, which in turn meant so was the PSA HQ. None of us seem to have our spy phones either. If only we had access to some of our tech, then maybe we could get a better idea of what's really going on. Well, it's not like I can do anything about it right now. I guess I'll just go home. Oh, agent, right? Huh? Huh? Sorry. I did not mean to frighten you. Tensei, what are you doing out here? You all have your igloos, but the dojo is my home. And as you may recall, the dojo is currently locked. I see. Well, um, I don't have much, but you can stay at my igloo if you'd like. That's quite kind of you. You are a good person, Asia. I don't trust this. Oh, no. But don't worry about me. The coffee shop is unlocked after all, so I've been staying in the book room upstairs. All right, but why are you outside then? Oh no, Sensei! Meditating. It is quite calming in a stressful situation like this one. Would you like to join me? Um, sure. Not like I've got anything else to do. I spent some time meditating with Sensei. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right, but it was actually really nice. Thanks for letting me meditate with you, Sensei. I feel like I might actually get some decent sleep tonight. Of course. Feel free to drop by again anytime. Good night, Agent. Night, Sensei. I went back to my igloo and fell right asleep. Yon is right. We don't know it could be her. I keep calling Sensei Jensei. I guess it's morning. I actually slept pretty well. Looks like that meditating really helped. Hey, Agent. Everyone's at the coffee shop for some breakfast. You should come too. Oh, all right. That sounds pretty good. I followed Rookie to the coffee shop. Good morning, you two. Got some pancakes here with your names on. Pancakes? Oh, sweet. I am so down for some pancakes. I want pancakes. I'm going to get pancakes tomorrow morning. So what do you guys think we should do today? We found a lot of stuff yesterday, but where do we go from here? I'm not really sure. I feel like getting jetpack guys some more fuel is probably all we can do. See, Dot? I told you it was a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Can't you see I'm too busy with these pancakes to care? Man, I want some pancakes. Well, Gary, do you think we'd be able to get some more jetpack fuel? Like JPEG said, the key ingredients are hot sauce and cream soda. Fortunately, we don't seem to have any cream soda available to us, but I can try experimenting with what we do have to see if I can come up with a substitution. Don't be... That'd be great, G. If anyone can do it, it's you. Great. So our lives are here in the hands of the guy who always screws up. His inventions. Awful pessimistic, ain't you? Jesus taking all the work upon himself, mate. At least be grateful for that. 
right? Because I'm not being able to do anything at all to get out of here. It's just super. Crikey, are you always this much of a downer? Or maybe you're the... Yeah, please no hints or spoils. I would really appreciate that. What? You think I'm the traitor or something? Knock it off, girls. There's no traitor, remember? We all agreed Monobrett was just lying to us. I don't know. Kind of sounds like something a traitor would want us to think. Not to mention, you've pretty much taken charge around here. Are you serious, Frankie? Antarctic is the sweetest penguin on the island. You can't possibly think that she's the traitor. Why should we trust anything you'd say, Miss Disguise Gal? How do we even know who you are? I should ask you the same thing, Mr. Actor. Tch. Guys, stop it. I'm sure this is exactly what Monobrit wants us to do. For real. For real? You guys are giving me a headache. I'm going home. Me too, lad. That noisy bunch is just too much. Like, I'd stick around with a bunch of people accusing me. I bet that Puffle Girl is a traitor. She started all this. You cheeky. If I do recall, I reckon it was you who was being such a negative Nancy. One by one, everyone left the coffee shop. Either they were too paranoid or too fed up with everyone else. Eventually, it was just me and Antarctic left. <sighs> Dude, everybody went crazy. Everything was going so well. Why did it all fall apart so fast? It's a tense situation. Maybe everyone just needs some space for a bit. I don't think so, Agent. The more time everyone spends apart, the less they'll trust each other. You're probably right, but after what just happened, I doubt anyone would even want to talk to each other for at least the rest of the day. Yeah, I guess so. I could tell she didn't want to accept that. Poor Arctic. She just wanted us to work together. Hey, don't worry about it, okay? I'm sure today was just a little bump in the road. We should probably go home and take a break from worrying about everyone. That would probably be nice. But I've got to clean up all the food everyone left. I'll take care of it. You go get some rest. Oh no, don't let her go out there by herself. Thanks, Agent. I can always count on you, can I? Aunt Arctic gave me a hug and left the coffee shop. No, don't let her go out by herself! That's not good. Hey, is Aunt Arctic okay? I saw her walk by and she looked like she was crying. Rookie? I thought you went home because you had a headache. Well, I did, but then I remember pancakes are the perfect cure for a headache, so I came back for some... That is so true. Now that you mentioned it, I never actually got any pancakes before everyone started fighting. In fact, it looks like there's a lot of pancakes left that nobody ended up eating. Oh yeah, dude. It's pancake time. Boogie and I spent some time eating pancakes together. Oh, that sure hit the spot. My headache didn't go away yet, though. I'm sure it'll clear up soon. Just try not to stress about everything too much. I swear to God, if he dies after eating pancakes. And um, thanks for coming back, by the way. After what happened, I didn't really expect to see anyone else today. Y yeah, I'm not really sure what to think about it, honestly. That's all right. Heck, it's probably better that you don't think about it. Um, yeah, probably. Pancakes for headaches? Of course! What do you eat, Dobby? I eat pancakes. Are you okay, rookie? You seem down. I mean, I get why, but... I don't think I've ever seen you this upset after having so many pancakes. I... Yeah, I... Uh... I'm scared, Agent. Oh no. I mean, they've been through a lot before. But this is just scary. So many penguins are gone. I don't know who I can trust. And there's nothing we can do about it. You can't say it on stream. I feel you. Hey, it's okay. Look, I'm scared too. You are? Of course I am, rookie. Oh no, if the best agent in the EPF is scared, then this must be a million times scarier than I already think it is. Oh no, you're scaring him even more. Uh, I, I didn't mean it like that. I, I know. Sorry. Oh no. Poor rookie. I just wanted you to know that it's okay to be scared right now. Yeah, I guess that helps a little. Hey. I know what might cheer you up, Rookie. You do? Yeah, everyone else went to their igloos, but since they probably just went up to the book room. The dojo's locked, so he's been staying there. Oh no. You mean, Sensei's right upstairs. Oh no! Oh wait, oh, I'm downstairs now. Okay, good. Ooh, I got a little scared. Jeez, you scared me. My apologies, I could hear you two talking from upstairs, so I came down once you mentioned me. Oh man, you probably heard me crying like a baby then. Yes, but it takes great strength to cry, you know. Well, what do you mean? 
Crying is often seen as a form of weakness or vulnerability. However, being able to show that you are vulnerable, in a way, is that not strength? Sorry I'm rambling. You needed me for something, I assume. You're fine. I just wanted to ask if you could meditate with Rookie for a bit. I think it might be good for him. Oh, certainly. I was going to go meditate once you two left anyways. Rookie, you were the one who wanted to face me in card jitsu, right? Perhaps after we, do we are done meditating, I could give you some tips. Really? Of course. And with everyone else in their igloos, we will probably have some peace and quiet too. Well, I'll leave you two to your meditating then. Oh, you aren't going to join us? As nice as it sounds, I think I'm going to take a walk around the island. I can't help but feel like we're missing something. I just have to investigate some more. Very well. I wish you good luck. Be careful out there. I can't stand crying, though. I know it's better to do so. I just don't like people seeing me cry. I don't like people seeing me cry either. That's that's one of the things is like, I'll cry when I'm by myself. You know what I mean? But like when it's in front of somebody, like I felt really bad because one day I like broke down in front of Halea and like I felt so embarrassed after that. Like it, it was just one of those days I was just having a bad day, bad day. And I broke down and it was just like one of those most awkward moments. And I, I kept apologizing after that. And she's just like, why? Well, hey, you, you know, you're just sharing emotion and stuff like that. And I'm just like, but I don't like crying in front of everybody. Like, Sensei and Rookie, the student and teacher friendship, right? I left the coffee shop and walked around the island to look for any other clues. I won't, I, I, I won't cry on stream. I, okay, maybe I have cried on stream a couple of the times. I felt really embarrassed though when I did. There was one stream, I'm not going to bring that stream up because I don't want anybody looking it up because it's still live and it's up there. There's one stream that I did and it was fairly recently. And I, I literally broke down crying like on stream. Like it was like a serious stream. Like I was crying. Like it wasn't one of those things where it was like, you know, the game made me cry. Like I literally was having that bad of a day where I just broke down. And some of y'all probably remember that. Yeah, you're right, Scarlet. It was that one case. Click, click. Hmm? Oh, no. I turned around to see Klutzy behind me. Oh, um, hey, Klutzy. I haven't seen you at all today. Click, click. Aw, thanks for the hug, Roku. Probably be for the best that you weren't around earlier. Everyone got super paranoid about who the traitor was and went back to their igloos. Click, click. Um, it's hard to tell, but you look like you really wanted to tell me something. Oh, I remember that, Dipwort. Well, I'd love to hear it. I'm just not sure how to, I'd be able to understand you. If only you didn't break G's Crab Translator 3000, though. To be fair, we can't access to the gadget room anyway. Let's see, tapped my foot and started walking away. I guess he wants me to follow him. What's up, D-Rock? The mine shack. But we can't get in. Let's see, walked around to a door on the side of the mine shack. I think we'll go uh, through the trial. We'll go through the trial. Right, I forgot Rory said the tool shed was unlocked. Slightly embarrassed I was outsmarted by a crab. Not like it was the first time, though. I followed Klutzy into the tool shed. As in, we'll watch the whole trial, is what I'm saying. Hmm, it doesn't seem too out of the ordinary. Just the jackhammer is gone, like Rory said. Klutzy started frantically searching through a box of blueprints, trying his best not to rip too much of his claws. After a while, he seemed to find what he was looking for and handed it to me. Huh? What's this? Puffleberry. Puffleberry Mall? <gasps> I remember that. It looked like plans to build a mall somewhere on the island. I'm certainly not involved with what gets built and what doesn't, but... This is the first time I've heard of a mall on Club Penguin. Maybe Monobird's planning on building this once we're all gone. But he hates Puffles. So why would he call it the Puffleberry Mall? Um, I'm not exactly sure what this has to do with our current situation, Klutzy. So it's pretty suspicious nonetheless. I'm glad you showed it to me. I don't know if anyone's planning on coming out of their igloos tomorrow, but... If anyone knows anything about this, it's probably Rory. I'll be sure to ask him about it if I see him. Click, click. Klutzy seems happy he was able to show me something. Um, I know you can't really answer this, but... You're not on Monobert's side, are you? Click, click. Hold up. I guess I'll take that as a yes. Sorry, that was probably obvious. I'm just not really used to you helping me. 
I don't think the others will trust you so easily, though. I mean, they don't even trust each other right now. Anyways, if you don't even want to work with Monobert, you shouldn't stay with him at night. Do you want to stay at my igloo? Pussy seems to really like that idea. Oh! All right, let's get going then. That's so cute. Pussy followed me to my igloo. Yay, we have a friend. Here we are. It's not much, but feel free to make yourself at home. Oh, and uh, try not to rip anything. Those claws of yours sure are sharp. Pussy walked around my igloo for a bit and eventually made his way into one of my puffle beds. Oh! He actually looks really cute in it. Well, I guess since my puffles aren't here, you can sleep in there. I'm probably going to hit the hay myself. So, um, good night, Klutzy. Keep tight. Sleep tight. I flopped down on my couch and fell asleep. That's so wholesome. Oh my god. He's so cute. Uh. Good morning, Klutzy. Oh! No! Don't! I looked all over my igloo, but... Where is he? I couldn't find Klutzy anywhere. Maybe he went outside? Oh no! <gasps> uh, oh, good morning, Agent. Dot, um, I know this probably sounds weird, but have you seen Klutzy around? Hmm? No, but I guess you should probably join us too. Huh? Join you? What are you talking about? Oh, hell no. We decided to try to make pancakes again today since yesterday was kind of a mess. It was my idea. Of course it was. Oh, hey, Rookie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great since they really helped to lift my spirits and I'm only going to feel better once I get some more pancakes. Well, we're still busy making them. Could you two go knock on everyone's doors and tell them to come to the coffee shop? Sure thing, Dot. Let me know if you see Klutzy, by the way. Not Klutzy. Whatever you say, Ace. Dot and Jetpack Guy went to the coffee shop to finish making the pancakes. Looks like it's time for you and me to do some door knocking. Have you been practicing your knock-knock jokes? Because I sure have. Oh, no, please don't. We don't need to do jokes, Rookie. Let's just go around and see what's still in their igloos. Right. Right. So who do we go to first? Uh, uh, Antarctic's igloo is the closest, so I guess we should go to that one. I see. Good idea. I knocked on Antarctic's door. No response. Hmm. Well, you see, it's probably because you didn't do a knock-knock joke. Or, and hear me out on this one, maybe she's not home. No, no, no. Nonsense. Observe. Knock, knock. Still no response. Man, tough crowd. I didn't get to do the punchline yet. Huh? And Arctic's door's unlocked. No! That's odd. I'm pretty sure she locks it whenever she leaves. No, no, no! Oh, maybe she's still sleeping then. Come on, agent. Let's go wake her up. Rookie. No, you don't just do that. I tried to stop Rookie from barging in and waking up Antarctic, but he had already swung the door wide open. Antarctic, rise and shine. Uh, huh? Oh my God! No, that's, that's horrible. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! As soon as I saw her go home last, I knew she was gonna die. Damn! What in the world? Oh my god, I can't believe that! The first death is Antarctic? As soon as, as soon as the character says that they're walking home alone, death flag. There it is. She needs smarter home security. She was crying too, right? At least it wasn't Clussy who died first, but it was Antarctic. Do you not get it? Aunties ain't safe. <laughs> she was so nice. What, what did Antarctic do to anyone? Nothing. There was no harm. No harm done. She was trying to be the leader. Her name was a pun. She had to go. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. As much as I hate puns, I like Antarctic. 
Normally, I'd agree with you, Dobby, but I actually like her. Hashtag aunties ain't safe. That's wild. I'm guessing some of these things are from the game. Yeah, they are. Mm hmm. I'm debating on saying something, but I'll wait for them to bring it up. What if it was Klutzy? What if Klutzy's the killer? <laughs> oh no, where did Klutzy go? This is terrible. Right in front of us. Antarctic, who just wanted us to work together. She was dead. What the? What the? What the? What the? This. This can't be. What do we do? 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 Only pe only two people discovered the body. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please report to Antarctic's igloo. Only two people saw it. Great googly moogly. <laughs> Antarctic? She, she's really? Soon enough, everyone else gathered in Antarctic igloo. Which one of you imbeciles did this? Speak up right now. Pornhub, I know you're upset, but I seriously doubt whoever did this is going to fess up. He's right after all. The killer needs to get away with their crime in order to be sent to the new world. Are you happy, Monobert? Is this really what you wanted? Oh, I'm definitely pleased, but enough of that. I'm here to give you all the Monobert file. What's a Monobert file? See for yourself. The victim is Antarctic. The body was discovered in the victim's igloo. The time of death was shortly after 12 a.m. The cause of death was a blow to the head from a blunt object. Jesus. They knocked the absolute out of her. Please, I swear to Atua. Why are you giving us this? To help you investigate, of course. Then we'll hold a dimensional trial to see if you lot can figure out who the killer is. Dimensional trial? What the hell is that? You know, like a murder trial. I gather that, but what about the dimensional part? You'll just have to wait and see. All you need to know is that if you correctly determine the killer, only they will receive punishment. Alternatively, if you guess correct incorrectly, the killer will get off scot-free and will be sent to the new world, while the rest of you will be punished. Punished? You mean... Execution, of course. Anyways, you all better get moving. Your investigation time is limited, so good luck. Monobird disappeared. Antarctic? I can't believe she's really... dead. I can't either. But you heard what that polar bear said. Our lives are on the line if we don't guess the killer right. We have to keep moving and get to the bottom of this. Is it bad that I imagine the new world is actually a zoo? Oh my God. Blair, why? Yeah, I mean, that's probably what she would have wanted us to do. She wanted us to work together. So let's just do that. Let's investigate whatever we can and figure out who killed Antarctic for her sake. Investigation time. Hey, Ace, mind catching up on what happened after you and Rooks went around knocking on doors? An artist igloo was the first one we knocked on, but strangely, it was unlocked. We figured out she was just asleep, but Rookie wanted to go wake her up. And when we went inside, well, I see. Thanks, Agent. By the way, I'm sure she saw, you saw, but Klutzy's fine. Who do you think the first killer is? I don't know. What if it's Jetpack Guy? What if it's actually Jetpack Guy, JPEG? The most important guy right now because he has the Jetpack. I can't stop thinking. It's not a bad theory at all. I, I obviously don't think like that whatever the new world is is a good thing. <laughs> was that crab? Yeah, it was a crab. It would be too simple to get rid of Klutzy all because he's working for the enemy. Yeah, true. No, not JPEG. Is it Sea Life Zoo? Did they get sent to Sea Life Zoo? I don't know. <laughs> That's a relief. I was too distracted by all of this to even notice. Agent, I hate to do this, but I think we should take a closer look at the body. Yeah, you're probably right. 
I approached Antarctic's corpse. Poor Arctic. Monobert Files says she was struck on the head with a blunt object. And judging from the blood on her head, that appears to be accurate. Jesus. Hang on a minute, Agent. Look at the blood on the floor. The blood on the floor left a large trail that came from the door. That doesn't seem right. I don't think the blood would go that far if she was just struck on the head. Yeah, definitely. So why is it like that? Maybe her body was moved? Oh yeah, I guess that would make sense. Us penguins don't really have a body that lends itself to be easily carried. So the killer probably rolled an Arctic here, and the blood that was on her body got stuck to the floor. That's gotta be it. So she was dragged in here? After Jetpack Guy and I were done looking at the body, we noticed that only Dot, Gary, and Paige were in the igloo. Hey, where'd everybody go? I assume everyone just wanted to leave the investigating to the actual agents. Our lives are on the line. We need all flippers on deck for this. I reckon Sam and Amy said something about looking for clues elsewhere on the island, but Rookie's an agent too, and he ain't here. He was probably feeling really overwhelmed. He already wasn't feeling great yesterday. What a baby. I'll leave him alone, JPEG. What? I didn't mean it was a bad thing. It's just Rookie being Rookie, you know? Whatever. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys something. Take a look at that thing by the fireplace. Looks like a piece of black fabric that's been slightly charred. Perhaps the killer tried to burn some evidence? Black fabric? I mean, my tie is black, but as you can see, it's completely intact. Who else here even wears black clothes? Hey, don't look at me. You know I wouldn't kill Antarctic. How do we know that? You can even check my suit to see if there's any tears. Go ahead. I think I'll just trust the fact that I know you wouldn't kill her. Hmm, it looks like that's about everything in here. I think I'm going to go check around the island for any other clues. Dot, JPEG, you two should stay here and guard the crime scene in case anyone comes back. On it. Good luck, Ace. Well, Agent, looks like it's just you, me, and Paige. What are you supposed to investigate? Hmm, maybe the coffee shop? That's where everything bad started yesterday, so maybe we'll find something there. Good thinking, mate. But I'm starting to feel a bit bad about what I said yesterday. It's all right, Pornhub. Everybody was on edge. Gary, Paige, and I headed to the coffee shop, where we found Cadence, Frankie, and Rory. Well, we found the slackers, at least. Hey, what are we supposed to do? You guys are the ones who did the investigative stuff all the time. We could at least try to help, you know? Oh, great. It's the Puffle Girl. Do you think I'm still the traitor? That ain't what I said. I just want us all to work together. I'm sorry about what I said yesterday. Can you stop calling him that? My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Actually, I'm glad that you brought it up. Do you think Antarctic's death has something to do with the possibility of a traitor among us? I mean, that's why everything went downhill yesterday, so probably. The cowboy hat. Weren't you the one who accused Antarctic of being the traitor yesterday? Yeah, but that doesn't mean I killed her. You know what I mean? Still, maybe someone brought in, uh, bought into your suspicions and acted accordingly. You might be onto something, Rory. Still, let's try not to accuse anyone until the trial. Fair enough. Yeah, what they said. It wasn't me. Oh, Rory, by the way. Hmm? Something else up? I wanted to ask you if you knew anything about this. I handed Rory the blueprint Klutzy showed me yesterday. Puffleberry Mall? What in the good gravy is this? So you don't know anything about it either? Can't say I do. Where'd you find this? It was in a box of blueprints in the tool shed. Let's see who was the one who found it. I sure don't know anything about plans for a mall on Club Penguin. I'm the island's top handyman, so I'd know about any and all construction plans. Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. Actually, now that I think about it, there's someone else who might have known about these plans before me. Someone else? Who? Well, Antarctic, of course. Not like it was official or anything, but she was pretty much in charge of the whole island. Uh-oh. You're right. Countless penguins looked up to her, and she planned most of the parties. Makes sense to think of her as the leader of our island. And Arctic was usually the one who gave me construction plans, so if anyone knows something about this mall, it'd be her. This must be a short trial. Because if, if, if it's a trial, execution, and investigation all in one episode, 
Like, we only got 40 minutes. Unfortunately, it looks like you're not going to get any more information about it. Yeah, but thanks for telling me what you knew, Rory. This was a big help. No problem. After I was done talking with Rory, I went upstairs to the book room where I found Rookie, Sensei, and Rockhopper. Oh, um, hey, Agent. Hey, Rookie, what are you doing here? I was really upset about Antarctic, so I asked Sensei to help me meditate again. Rockhopper joined us, too. Not much as old guys can do help out the youngins, eh, Sensei? You are far younger than me. Shiver me timbers. I know you're old, me hearty, but are you really that much older than me? Oh, Agent, I almost forgot. Shadow Guy was looking for you. He said he had something to show you at the ski village. Oh, thanks, Rookie. I'll head over now. I headed over to the ski village and saw Shadow Guy, Gamagal, and Klutzy looking at something. Click, click! Ah! Well, someone looks happy to see you. He just followed us here. I can't tell what he's thinking, but he sure seems to have a knack for investigating. I'd believe it. Anyway, Sam, you wanted to show me something? Where does Kane go? Wait a second. Where does Kane go? I'd believe it. Anyway, Sam, you wanted to show me something? What is it? Yeah, I figured if anything could make sense of this, it'd be the ultimate secret agent. Take a look. Is that blood? Sure looks like it. I have no idea how it got there, though. Me neither. I didn't see a single drop of blood from here to Antarctic's igloo, so what could this possibly be there? So you don't know either, then? Ah, well, I guess it was worth it. Worth a try. Yeah, sorry. It's just so bizarre. Glad you showed it to me, though. That was the shortest investigation time ever. Huh? An announcement? Ahem. Is everyone ready? Sorry for the long-awaited dimensional trial. Please report to the snow force immediately. Click, click. Looks like we don't have much of a choice. Let's get going. We head to the snow fort where we found everyone else already waiting for us. Ah, good. Looks like everyone has arrived. Now then, watch this. Monobert pressed another one of his buttons and then... We didn't even find the murder weapon. Is that the nether portal from Minecraft? Or am I tripping? <laughs> we go into the nether, guys. That's what I'm saying. That's Zooks. We're going to hold the trial in the box dimension? That's right. Everyone, please make your way inside. We all stepped inside the portal to the box dimension. Hey, this music is good. Oh man, this place makes me think of the April Fool's Day party. I'd much rather be doing that right now. Hey, doesn't this place look a bit different than it usually does? Sure does. It's now far better suited to hold a trial. You'll find each place to stand uh, with your name on it. So get moving. Are we going to get glowstone? Right. We all stood in our appropriate spots. Oops, looks like my, uh, Klutzy needs a bit of a boost. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't bother with it because I was expecting you to be the first victim. <laughs> I lifted Klutzy up on the top of his box. Aw. Now just to refresh your memories. Correctly determine who the killer is, and only they will be punished. But if you choose the wrong person, you all will be executed instead, and the killer will be sent to the new world. No pressure or anything. Get to it. I'm all right. First, let's go over what we know about Aunt Arctic's murder. As far as I know, Rookie and I were the first ones to discover her body. Yeah, we were gonna do. We we're gonna go tell everyone that Dot and Jetpack guy were making pancakes again, and Aunt Arctic's igloo was the first one we went to. But according to Monobert file, Aunt Arctic was killed at around midnight, so she had been dead for almost ten hours before we found her body. I'm gonna assume everyone was asleep in their igloos, so it's hard to say who was out and about at that time. Plus, everyone was paranoid of each other yesterday, so I doubt anyone was even with someone else. Well, that's not true. Sensei and I were together yesterday. 
That's right. I was meditating with Rookie to help him calm down. Then after that, we did some card jitsu training. He might have his cane right there. He looks like he does. Yeah, but you two weren't together until midnight, right? Way past midnight, actually. Sensei and I had a sleepover in the book room. I can confirm that. When Dot and I went to the coffee shop this morning, Rookie and Sensei had just woken up. That's when Rookie asked us if we could make pancakes for everyone again. That's right. Rookie did say it was his idea. So who went to the bathroom? We decided to try to make pancakes again today since yesterday was kind of a mess. It was my idea. True. All right, so Rookie and Sensei were together, but what about the rest of us? Was anyone else with someone? Click, click. Oh, Klutzy was. Well, Klutzy and I kind of had a sleepover of our own. You had a sleepover with that thing? Paige, I will knock you the f out. Don't you ever put dirt on my man Klutzy like that. Don't you call Klutzy a thing. You see his face right there? You see how sad he is? That was f rude. His name is Klutzy. And yes, I did. I hate to break it to you, lad, but I'm not sure that's really a ship-shaped alibi. Yeah, it kind of isn't. After all, that crab can't really speak to confirm that what ye be saying is true. You're right. And besides, Klutzy wasn't even in my igloo this morning when I woke up. So he was gone, eh? But the little scamp was the one who killed Antarctic. No, I don't think that's possible. What do you mean? Haven't you seen the claws that thing's got? They're sharp and deadly. Yeah, but... But Antarctic was killed with a blunt object. Come on now. It's true that his claws are sharp. But that's also what prevents him from holding much of anything. You're right, Agent. Plus, he couldn't even hold the pencil I tried to give him. So, big whoop. He can't hold stuff. Can he still have used his claw to stab Antarctic? If he tried, I sh sure, I'm sure he could have. However, the Monobert file says Antarctic's cause of death was a blow to the head from a blunt object. And if Klutzy can't even hold a pencil, do you really think he'd be able to hold something high over Antarctic's head and hit her with it? Not to mention, the blood was the floor. Uh, the blood was on the floor of Antarctic's igloo. Suggests that her body was moved. And I somehow doubt that a little crab could move a penguin's body. So, did y'all forget that crab is working with Monobert? He's got to be the one who did it. I don't know. Paige is a little sus right now. Hold on. There's something about Paige that's a little sus. Did someone get bland or blocked? I didn't, I didn't ban or block anybody. I was saying uh, the girl in the game was rude. If I may intervene for a moment. As the judge of this killing game, I'd rather not flat out eliminate one of the potential suspects. But since this is only your first trial, I think it might be fair to tell you that Klutzy was with me last night. Huh? But well, Klutzy was with me. No way. Are there two Klutzies? Once nighttime hits, Klutzy is teleported back to my private quarters. Remember how I did that on the first night? Oh yeah, he got zapped right from the snow forts. That's why Klutzy wasn't in my igloo this morning. You should have seen how angry he was. He must have really taken a liking to you. Great. We know that crab is innocent. So now what? How about we try to figure out what the murder was... Murder weapon was. Yeah, that's what we need to be figuring out. Well, it was a blunt object, right? Maybe it was the typewriter in Antarctic's igloo. Nah. There wasn't any blood on the typewriter, though. Crud, I think I was onto something. Was there anything else in that igloo that could have been used? Come on now, Frankie. Dot, JPEG, did you guys find anything else after we left? We looked through our desk drawers, but all we found in there was her camera. I suppose a camera could have done it if you smacked her hard enough with it, but it still seems unlikely. Besides, the camera didn't have blood on it either, and the camera would probably be broken at that point. But what if the killer washed the blood off? Quite doubtful. We would have had to use water to do that, which would completely ruin the camera and the typewriter. I still don't know about the typewriter, but the camera definitely still worked. We saw the picture we took at the pizza parlor the other day on it. That picture! 
As an expert on machines new and old, trust me when I say I could tell a typewriter was fine just by looking at it. I love this song. The murder weapon had to have blood on it, right? We found an unexplainable blood stain in the ski village. All the way out in the ski village? I've got it. The murder weapon was snow. No. Blast it. Another dead end, it seems. All right, we can come back to the blood and the snow later. How about we talk about the burnt piece of fabric we found by Antarctic's fireplace? Hey, JPEG. Where's black clothes? Yeah, he does wear back. I can't talk right now. Hey, JPEG wears black clothes. Oh, come on. Do you want to check my suit? There are no tears at all. Why did Gary look like that? Agents, I don't think we have much of a choice. And since she's gone, it's supposed to okay to reveal this now. Wait, what? Gee, you don't mean. I know, Agent. I know. But it might have something to do with her death. We have to reveal Antarctic's secret identity. Wait, what? Hold up. As many of you know, we run a secret organization known as the Penguin Secret Agency. Our mission is to keep this island safe. Add in three, two, one. No ad for me, baby. Is that the new Doom stuff? I used to like Doom. It's been a while. Agent is Klutzy's dad. Move out of his way at Monobird. <laughs> right? Exactly. I like how you guys think. Like friends, not lovers. Did somebody ship? Bro, Klutzy cross agent? Oh, that's a amazing ship. Antarctic was the director of the PSA. Not even many actual agents knew that about her. Really? What? No way. Antarctic was in charge of this, that this whole time? Makes sense. She was definitely the leader type. Okay, so Antarctic was in charge of a top secret spy organization. What does that have to do with her death? Remember what we were talking about before? Yeah, the piece of black fabric. Does that have something to do with Antarctic being the director? Antarctic's director's uniform is a black suit. So it's possible the burnt piece of fabric we found was actually from that. Do you think Agent will die in the future episodes? Maybe. That'd be crazy. Her suit also do doubles as an invention of mine. When she wears it, it gives her a shadowy appearance, concealing her identity even further. So since we found that scrap of her suit, it's likely that when Antarctic was killed, she was wearing her director's uniform. Hey, Rory, what were you saying earlier? About someone thinking Antarctic was the traitor? Well, yesterday, you were suspicious of Antarctic. I thought... Maybe someone believed she was a traitor and killed her for that reason. Right? So if she was wearing that suit, that makes her look like a shadow. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'd be pretty suspicious of a penguin like that. Yeah, those black penguins, man. So you're saying the killer killed Antarctic because her suit confirmed your suspicions of her? No, I think what Frankie's getting at is that the killer didn't even know it was Antarctic that they had killed at first. She's completely unrecognizable in her director's uniform, so as soon as the killer saw a suspicious looking penguin, they probably just assumed she was a traitor and took their chance. Oh, that's crazy. That at least gives us some people who are innocent, right? If the PSA agents knew Antarctic's identity, then that wouldn't have found her shadowy figure to be very suspicious. Or they wouldn't have found it. Okay. Right. We would have been confused as to why she was out and about in that uniform, but still, we wouldn't have been suspicious of her. True. That's what you're going with. That means me, Paige, JPEG, Rookie, Gary, and Agent are innocent. That narrows it down. I'm still confused. How do we know for sure that Antarctic was wearing her director's uniform? Think about it, Rooks. The scrap of fabric we found was burnt. The killer probably took off Antarctic's suit and burned it in the fireplace to hide the fact that she was wearing it. That's a good theory. But why would they do that? That I'm not sure about. Oh, seriously? Are we at another dead end? Maybe so. But at least knowing that the PSA and EPF are, yeah, EPF agents are innocent is good progress, no? Hmm. Sensei. Hmm? What is it? We only said Antarctic was the director of the PSA. We said nothing about the EPF. Oh, he slipped up! 
Oh, well, I heard rumors of another agency called the EPF, so I just assumed she was in charge of both. Oh, no! It's very unlikely. Only top PSA agents are involved with the EPF, and we do everything in our power to keep information from getting out. Yikes, dude, slip! I hate to break it to you, but you might need to get better security. Better security than a memory eraser? Do you know how many times we've erased Rory's memory after he's built secret rooms for us? Huh? Sorry about that. Hopefully the coins we gave you afterward compensated for it. Yeah, as long as I got paid. But still, that does make it pretty unlikely that anyone else would know about the PEF or whatever. I don't know what else to tell you. I know I heard someone talking about the EPF before. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, something doesn't seem right. Or rather, something hasn't seemed right. I need to confirm something quick. Oh no, it might be the cane, y'all. It might be the cane. Rory, since you're sitting next to Sensei, could you check to see if he's holding anything? Uh, sure, I guess. Uh, yeah, he's not holding anything. That's what I thought. No! But did you think he was just going to be holding the murder weapon or something? That would just be dumb. No, not quite, frankly, Frankie. There's something that Sensei should be holding. But he isn't. Oh. Oh, you're talking about a stick, right? That's right. Since he usually carries a large stick with him to use as a cane of sorts. Isn't it possible that the stick was the murder weapon? I suppose it could be if you hit someone hard enough with it. However, I haven't had my stick with me since this whole killing game started. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, what kind of lie was that? <laughs> that lie was terrible. Really, old man? Isn't that just a bit too convenient? I feel like I definitely remember you having it before. The Skies girl lost her disguises. The jetpack boy lost his jetpack fuel, and I lost my stick. Is that not hard to believe? My disguises would actually be useful, though. Same goes for a functional jetpack. But what good would your stick do? So you admit it. My jetpack is useful. Shut up, JPEG. Hey, Dot. Hmm? What's up, Ace? You said you found Aunt Arctic's camera in her igloo, right? Can I see it? You might be senile, but we sure aren't right. Knock yourself out. Dot handed me the camera and I scrolled through the photos on it until I found what I was looking for. I'd like everyone to take a look at this picture. Uh-oh, somebody's about to get exposed. Sheesh. Wait, go back. Oh, yeah, there's the stick right there. Got him. Hey, that's the picture we took at the pizza parlor. Oh, that was nice. It was very nice, rookie, but I'm going to have to ask you to look a little closer. Sensei, if you never had your stick with you during the killing game, then why are you holding it in this picture? It was like a... Well... Okay, I admit. I had my stick before. I simply just lost it today in the chaos of the murder. I thought you might find that suspicious, so I just said I lost it earlier. Well, yeah, if it's the murder weapon like the agent's thinking, of course that'd be suspicious. Right? It seems like you'd be getting rid of evidence. Exactly. So do you see why I thought it would be easier to just say I lost it earlier? I see you why you'd lie about it, yes. But if, unfortunately, that only makes you look even more suspicious. How many times do I have to do I need to say it? I don't know where my stick is, but let's say I'm the killer and I killed Antarctic with my stick. You're saying I'd get rid of the evidence, right? Dang, he's mad. But there's a force field around this entire island. So even if it was a murder weapon, I could just toss it in the sea. So where else could I hide it? Blood in the snow. Oh my god! It's almost like meat on the bone, but it's blood in the snow! You buried your stick in the snow of the ski village, didn't you, Sensei? Oh, right. The weird blood stain in the ski village. Are you saying he buried the stick there and the blood that was on it showed up on the snow? That's exactly what I'm saying. Not to mention, Sensei, I saw you meditating at the ski village a couple nights ago. If you were meditating there again, last night, I saw a shadowy penguin walking by. Well, I can only imagine how suspicious you might be of a penguin like that. Ugh. 
Hey, Sensei, it's it's not true, right? Right? Snow in the blood. Well done, Ace. It looks like you've solved another mystery. I think I'd better go over this entire case from the beginning. Meat on the bone. It all started when Monobert said there was a traitor among us. Now we deserve our black belts. At first, we just assumed he was talking about Klutzy, but Monobert soon clarified that he was referring to someone else. Agent is the goat. After that, it wasn't long before everyone started to feel paranoid of each other. I love this. This is so cool. Wow. Rookie told me he was feeling really stressed about everything, but I had an idea to help cheer him up. Who did this, dude? The night before, I had found the killer meditating in the ski village, so I asked them if they could meditate with Rookie to help calm him down. I really want to know who did this. This is amazing. If they were done meditating together, Rookie decided to sleep in the book room with the killer. I have to assume that at some point while Rookie was asleep, the killer went back outside to meditate some more. While they were meditating, they saw a shadowy penguin approaching. Why would she be running outside with her cloak on, though? Immediately suspicious of them. Like, why, why did she do that? I don't get that. Immediately suspicious of them, the killer probably thought they were the traitor. They took their opportunity and... The killer probably thought they were doing the rest of us a favor, so, however... The shadowy penguin in the question was actually Antarctic, who had secretly been the director of the PSA and the EPF. During the trial, we only revealed that Antarctic was the director of the PSA, but the killer somehow knew that she was in charge of the EPF too. If I had to guess, Antarctic probably explained to the killer why she was wearing that suit in her final mo moments. After that, the killer buried their stick in the snow of the ski village, but the blood that was on it was still vis visible. Then the killer moved Aunt Arctic's body to her igloo where they burned her director's uniform in the fireplace, but a small scrap of it was left behind. The creator is Tofu Damaru. That could only be one penguin. That's exactly how Aunt Arctic was killed. Ah! Isn't that right, Sensei? Hello, Megan. In fact, this closing argument is super good. I think this is pretty good for a fan gun. <laughs> for something that's Club Penguin-esque, it's pretty cool. Well, Sensei? Sorry, you're right, it was me. Sensei, you're joking, right? Sensei, how could you? It's exactly as the agent said. I mistook Arctic for the traitor. I just wanted to protect you all. I'm so sorry. If you want to protect us, why didn't you say something sooner? You know we all die if we vote wrong, right? Yes. Yes, I know. Please, let me explain. Arctic didn't die immediately after I struck her. S Sensei? And Arctic? I'm so sorry. I thought you were the... It's okay. I can't blame you, really. No, it's not. You're bleeding. Let me tend to you. Sensei, I don't have much time left. You can't save me, but you could still help me. I'm so sorry. I'll do anything I can. The reason I'm dressed like this, I'm the leader. I'm the director of the PSA and the EPF. I've heard of the PSA, but what's the EPF? It's another agency. Most PSA agents don't even know about it. Anyways, all you need to know is that I take the secrecy of my position very secret seriously. The others will find my body. There's nothing you could do about that. But please, take me to my igloo and put me in my normal clothes. You could burn the suit in my fireplace. Please, Sensei, keep my secret. This is horrible. I... Alright, if that's what you want. Thank you, Sensei. Let me ask one more thing of you. If Monobert ends up teleporting to you to that new world because of this. Keep every penguin there safe. And Arctic, I... You're a good man, Sensei. Please, protect everyone. For... For me. Aww. Uh, Arctic, now he's gonna get executed. Arctic! 
You killed off the most interesting character of the group. Oh my god, I know, right? I moved her body to her igloo like she's asked. I was able to cover up the blood on the way there by just piling more snow on top of it. But I guess in the midst of that chaos, I forgot to do the same for the blood for my stick. But worst of all, I ended up breaking both of my promises to Antarctic. First, you all ended up finding out about her secret, even though I guess some of you knew already. And second, I won't be going to the New World to look after all the other penguins. I know what's done is done, but truly, I feel terrible. Sensei. I don't deserve your pity. Please don't be like me. Don't let another killing happen, for Arctic's sake. Work together and get off of this island and keep the other penguins safe, whoever they are, wherever they are. But Sensei, we need you to help us with that too. Poor naive rookie, you didn't forget, did you? Sensei is the killer, you were all correct. So now he must be executed. There was no voting. But hold on. Sure, Sensei made a terrible mistake, but there's no reason to actually... You shouldn't defend me. This is what I deserve. But, Sensei, you were supposed to... You were going to train me more in card jitsu, remember? Rookie, during the brief trading session we had, I sensed great potential in you. Is everybody ready? You're stronger than you think, Rookie. Do not forget that. Keep everyone safe from me, all right? Oh no, the penguins are crying. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. S Sensei, oh no, I don't like penguin tears. Is there actually gonna be an execution? No way, this is dope. Look at the animation. Wait, hold up. Uh, whoa. Not the dojo. Oh no, now they're playing card jitsu. Bloodshed. Punishment for Sensei, the ultimate card jitsu master. <gasps> oh no. We've been there boozled. <laughs> What the hell? No, he cut him with a sword? <gasps> what the f Okay. This is a different club penguin game, right? Didn't say no. You, you did you really did that really just happen? I think I'm gonna throw up. My oh my, wasn't that exciting? That was brutal for the like, <laughs> like when I when I when I started playing this, I was thinking, oh, I might have to be PG because it might be like a PG game, but this ain't PG, homie. You're seriously sick. Oh man. You guys didn't like it? I guess I'll have to make the next one even better then. There's not gonna be a next one. Hey, this music's alright, hold up. After we what we just saw, there's no way any of us are gonna let another killing happen again. I've heard that about a billion times. Hilarious, you really think it won't happen again? Every one of you will meet the same fate. The sparrow, it's all of you. But if you want to pretend like everything will be okay, knock yourselves out. Anyways, the dimensional trial is over. Everyone back through the portal. Single file line, please. We all went through the box dimensions portal and came back to the snow forts. Once everyone was out, the portal disappeared. So what do we do now? 
I think we should all just get some sleep. We could talk more tomorrow morning. Everyone agreed with Rory and went back to their igloos, except for Rookie. Um, Rookie, you should probably get some sleep too. Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking about what Sensei said to me. I understand. Leave you alone then. Thanks, Agent. As worried as I was about Rookie, he probably just needed some time to himself. I headed back to my igloo for the night. It was hard to believe that just this morning, everything seemed to be okay. But now, both well, Sensei and Antarctic are gone. I decided to stop thinking about it and just try to get some sleep. Why do I have to bleep myself when I cuss? Uh, because of YouTube. Because I record these for YouTube. So if, you ever, if you ever notice, I don't start bleeping myself until I start recording. What do you want, Klutzy? Klutzy's mad. For the last time, Klutzy, I'm not letting you stay at that penguin's igloo. Klutzy's really mad. Don't get snippy with me, mister. Man, you really are a terrible henchman, you know? You didn't even start the killing game like you were supposed to. You're lucky that old geezer took action. Oh, this is like uh, like the voids in SCRE 2. I don't know why I bother pretending like I can really understand you. But you certainly seem like you think you're going to defeat me and save everyone. You're just a weak little crab. Those penguins have a better chance of defeating me than you. And their chances are zero. Boy, I know he didn't just say that to Klutzy. Anyways, go to the gadget room. I'm going to be meeting with that other helper of mine to discuss something with them. Oh, no. You that? What? Whoa, huh? Click, click. You took it too far today, Monobert. Well, what did you expect? You knew the killer would be executed. I know, but that... That was just brutal. And what are you going to do about it? What's done is done. I'm done taking orders from you. Just treat me like any of the other participants. Interesting. Very interesting. The traitor going against the headmaster? Let me tell you something. Last night I saw Aunt Arctic on her way to come talk to me. I don't know why she even tried to come in here since the sports shop was locked. But I saw she was serious enough to put on her director's uniform. I was actually thinking about letting her in to have a little chat. Might have been interesting. Letting her in here would have been or would have given her so much hope, only for it to be crushed in despair. Well, what are you getting at? I just wanted to remind you that you and Antarctic have something in common. I could have easily gotten rid of her while she was like that, but the rules forbid me from killing anyone for no reason. However, if you betray me, it will certainly give me a reason to get rid of you. What? Then I know what needs to be done. Let me take it. Let me make a deal with you. We lost one penguin. We lost two penguins, though. In this chapter, of course. Yeah, first we're doing a rock emote. We have to have a rock pun emote. And then we'll have a, a klutzy emote. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. That was crazy. I'm going to end this stream here. Um, we will watch more. Penguin Rampa. In the future i appreciate everybody that came you guys were amazing this one is a little bit harder for me to do because it's a lot of talking and it's a lot of fast talking because the the text scrolls so fast so i gotta like speed read it you know what i mean thanks for the stream no problem that was a ride that was amazing i'd have to go ahead and say that penguin rampa didn't disappoint i actually thought that this was going to be like super goofy and that i wouldn't be able to take it seriously but like, this is actually really good for, like, a Club Penguin-esque Danganronpa game. I didn't think it could work, but it works so well. It works great. It's phenomenal. I love to make an emoji of a character, but knowing me, I don't know if its size would be too big or small to use for an emoji. I could send you, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the dimensions. 
Night also blaze thoughts. I thought this was good. I thought this was really good. I'd have to say this was a really decent fan game. I wasn't expecting much from it. My expectations were actually really low. So it, it exceeded those expectations by a lot. By a lot. <laughs> and I'm kind of curious to see what happens later on. Uh, the, the trial was a little short, though. I mean, it had one, like, flub up, and that was it. But other than the trial being short, it, it, it's pretty good. Hope will never die. Without the